For video demonstration purposes, we have placed the VitalPoint Pro Monitor in simulated data mode which shows what the monitor would display if connected to a patient. The monitor has a keypad and selection knob used for navigation around the screen. By pressing the Setup button on the keypad, a drop-down menu will appear. Then, using the selection knob, one can scroll to the various menu options. The first option is for alarms. By selecting alarms from the drop-down menu, a new window will open with an overview of all the alarm settings for the patient. The alarms are based on parameter settings for each vital sign measure, and if a reading falls outside the set range, it will trigger an alarm. For quick access to the editing function of the alarms, the user can simply press Trends, followed by Setup on the keypad. This shortcut function then allows the user to change the parameter and alarm settings directly from the alarms window. The next option in the Setup menu is Waveforms. Selecting this option creates a new window from where the user can select which three waveforms to display on the monitor screen, as well as setting the waveform size and sweep speed. One can also select whether or not to have custom labels for each waveform. When changes are made, they immediately appear on the monitor. Going back to the Setup menu, we will now view patient information. This window shows the patient's name, initials, patient ID, and date of birth. The Save Restore option allows the user to either save changes they have made to the monitor settings when powered off, or restore the monitor back to factory settings. The Biomedical option opens a new window for additional monitor configurations, alarms, and system settings. By selecting Configuration, the user can view the serial number of the monitor and software version. The following menu options are only accessible by entering a password. Within Alarm in the Biomedical tab, the user can make further adjustments to the alarm settings. Alarm silencing, alarm validation, heart rate, and pulse oximetry alarms, as well as settings for the second speaker. Under System, the date, time, and speaker volume can be set. The monitor is shown here in Simulated Data Mode, which is set in the Service menu. In the Service menu, the user can also adjust the notch filter, perform blood pressure calibration, view a list of patients who have been monitored on a given monitor, set the option to enter the patient name when the monitor is powered on, and view the monitor event log. Please note that the event log is specific to the monitor and not to any patient. It can include the need for action such as service, calibration, or an upgrade. When in any window on the monitor, the user can easily get back to the main screen by selecting Close at the bottom of the drop-down menu or press the Main Screen button on the keypad. The Trends button allows the user to bring up the data trends of the patient. From this window, the user can scroll through the trends using the selection knob. The user has the option to print, which will send the trend data to a local printer. The Standby button places the monitor in standby mode. The Alarm Silence button simply mutes the alarm sound. The Start Stop NBP button allows the user to program automatic periodic blood pressure measurement. The user simply selects the NBP interval button from the menu. The monitor can be set to take this measure anywhere from every 3 minutes to every 120 minutes. Using the selection knob, the user can navigate around the monitor screen. The selection is shown with a white box around each option on the screen. Selecting one of the various vital sign measures will provide the user with a snapshot of information related to the given measurement. While taking the blood pressure as an example, one can view the parameter limits, alarm, and other settings by pressing down on the knob. In another example, for heart rate, pressing down on the knob button displays the ECG lead associated with the reading and the waveform, as well as other parameters in alarm settings.
The main NTS software screen allows the clinician to monitor multiple monitored patients, referred to as rooms. The software allows the viewing for up to 64 patients using the Vital Point Pro. The main screen has a quick access toolbar for common functions, as well as three tabs for additional features. For each patient being monitored, vital signs information is placed into a grid for the clinician to monitor. Patients' names as well as room numbers are displayed by each set of waveforms. The clinician can choose to view any two patients in an expanded large view, while the remaining monitored patients' vital signs are shown in a condensed view. Clicking Shift moves the large view on the top left to the right. The information on the two expanded views are duplicates of each other until the second patient is selected from the grid below. The patient selected from below will then appear on the top left of the screen. In this example, patients in room 222 and room 223 appear in the enlarged viewing area. Another patient's data can quickly and easily replace the left-hand view by selecting that set of waveforms from the grid below. To change the measurement parameter ranges for a patient, first select the patient, then click on the vital sign values. This will open a new window where the user can set parameters and choose to set alarms on all parameter ranges or only specific vital sign measures. This software comes with a standard default set of parameter values. To change those parameters, the clinician simply uses the up and down arrows. The user can also choose to set the pulse tone on or off on a per patient basis, simply by selecting that option. The clinician can also initiate a blood pressure measurement or select a time interval for such a measurement from once every 3 minutes to every 120 minutes. If for any reason a blood pressure measurement needs to be stopped, it can easily be done by simply clicking here. On the same screen, the user can customize the inflation rate of the blood pressure cuff. The last option on this screen is the auto set to return to the original default setting. The clinician has the ability to adjust patient waveforms in the viewing area. By selecting a patient and then clicking on the waveform area, a new window will appear. There, the clinician can choose what channel will display. For example, changing channel 1 from lead 1 to lead 2, or respiratory rate is easily done this way. This action can be performed for each of the three waveforms. The size of the displayed waveforms is also adjustable from this window, such as adjusting the size of the display for one of the leads. The sweep speed can be adjusted on the right-hand side. Here, we reduce the speed of the waveform sweep. When the sweep speed is changed for one waveform, all three waveforms sweep speeds are automatically changed. The user can also choose whether or not to display ECG labels on the waveforms or show beat spikes by selecting the corresponding option. An alternate way to change all of these settings is by selecting a patient, then selecting configuration from the main menu bar, and then clicking parameters. Under the patient tab, the user can admit a patient. Fields with an asterisk are required. Patient name, initials, and ID can be manually entered or auto-generated. Additional patient information can be entered such as date of birth, sex, as well as the clinician's name. To edit patient information, select the patient room and then select the Admit Edit button from the Patient tab. The monitor can be placed in standby mode for any patient. Simply select the Patient tab and then click on Standby. This feature is typically used when taking the patient out of the room. The monitoring can easily be resumed without having to re-enter parameters. Transport Mode, Patient Discharge, and Alarm Suspend are also found under the Patient tab. Summary reports can also be printed. These reports can be on specific patients, 
or on all patients. Whichever patient has been selected on the main NTS screen will be the patient for which the report is generated. The same steps are followed for by printing strip reports for a single patient or for all patients. To view alarm logs, click on the Patient tab and then Alarm Log. Speakers can be tested by sounding an alert tone on the main PC, allowing the user to determine if the speakers are on and if the volume level is adequate. Here, the user can configure the waveform settings and parameters for each patient or restore default settings for each patient. Click on System to set the date, the time, and adjust alarm silence and suspend times. The user can check the monitor setup in the alarm validation screen. It is on this screen that the user can choose whether or not to have tones at the bedside for all alarms or only for those for high-risk alarm notifications. Daytime and evening alarm tones, such as quieter alarm tones, for the evenings when patients are resting and defining these evening hours are set here. Again, these settings can be restored back to the factory default values by selecting this button. In the setup window, the user has the option to enter a facility name, to select temperature units, and adjust notch filter settings. COM or communication ports can be changed if a monitor is moved. The monitor can also be switched to simulated data mode for demonstration or training purposes and to transport mode. Since the software should rarely, if ever, be exited, the user must access this password protected screen in order to exit the software. By clicking the Notes button, a new window opens allowing the user to enter notes regarding the selected patient. The Trend button, when clicked, opens a new window that shows the trending for that selected patient's parameters over a given time frame. The trending can be shown either in table or in graphical form. Time range of the data trends and data scaling are easily adjustable. To print any of the selected patient's waveforms, Simply click the patient's waveform, then select Print. As a reminder, to exit the NTS software, the user is required to go to the Configuration menu, then click on the Setup option, enter the password which will allow a new window to open, which will allow the user to exit the software. The NTS software should only be exited when patients no longer need to be monitored from that PC.